Hey guys, it's Tepco Psych Repair. Today we're going to be talking about torquing at an angle. Alright, so before we get started, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications, guys. Share this video. There's a lot of information out there. Let's get down to it. Alright, so first off, guys, um, this is a torque extension. This is made by Motion Pro. Uh, the part number is uh, 57-8134, and I'll put a link in the description. You want to use something like this if you have a bolt or cylinder bolt that's inside of, say, a power valve. I'll show a picture here of a um, YZ250 that has it. And you can't get in there. You can't, you can't take your torque wrench and put your torque wrench straight down to it. And whenever you're talking something, you need to be directly above it. It needs to be straight. Uh, you don't want to just add extensions without using a formula or anything, which we're going to go over here. So what I want to talk about here is what you need to do and what changes. So we know that a... A torque wrench, one foot pound, is a pound's worth of weight at one foot. All right, so uh, let's say this is one foot long. I don't know the actual distance of this, this wrench, but let's say it's one foot long. At one feet, or one foot, one pound is a foot pound. So when you change that, the pivot point here to the center of the handle, when you change that by adding something like an extension, okay, you're changing the amount of torque that's needed to get to the foot pound requested at the end of this because you've added three inches here. So if this is longer, you're going to have more torque. If you say you set this to 20 foot pounds and you put three inches extended, it's going to be higher than that. So there's a formula that you have to do. Now, what I want you guys to understand, and the reason I'm making this video is that if you simply take this, all right, and you move it to 90 degrees, and now you apply the torque here at 90 degrees, all right, you don't have to change the setting. So 20 foot-pounds at 90 degrees here is the same as it would be if you had the socket right below this. All right. So if you look at the uh, instructions for Motion Pro, and I'll show you the formula up here, it says when the uh, adapter is at 90 degree angles to the torque wrench, distance A, which is going to be the distance of extension, will be equal to zero. So let me get up here on the uh, board here, and I'm going to show you the formula. All right, so here's the formula on the board here. We have R, which is going to equal the corrected torque. All right, so that's what we're going for. And that's, when I say torque, a corrected torque, I'm talking about when your torque wrench clicks at the setting that you put it on. So here we have, in this case, in this example, 20 foot-pounds times the length of your torque wrench. That's the center of the handle to the, where the socket is mounted. All right, so 12 times 20 is 240. Then we're going to have uh, the same thing, the length of the torque wrench added the extension, which is three inches in this case, that's going to equal 15. 240 divided by 15 is 16 foot-pounds. So you have to set your torque wrench at 16 foot-pounds to reach 20 foot-pounds at the nut. So what's going to happen when you set it at 16 foot-pounds, you'll be turning your, you know, putting the pressure on there, it'll click, but you're actually reaching 20 foot-pounds at the nut if you have a 3 x extension in, in this example. So what it says on the instructions, if A, which is the length of the extension, is 90 degrees, it's zero. So let's do the same formula down here. 20 times 12 is 240. 12 plus zero extension because we're at 90 degrees is 12. 240 divided by 12 is 20. So we're back at the original setting. You set your wrench at 20 foot pounds and you're gonna eat equal 20 foot pounds of torque on the nut that you're tightening. So if you go on forums and everything, you're gonna have all kinds of crazy information. I'm gonna show you here their formula. If you buy this tool, it's going to come with these instructions, and there's our formula that we just went over. All right, it's really simple. It's a good formula. So um, just don't, don't get overwhelmed by it. It's pretty simple. And what I would do is just about all these places that we need to get to to, um, to work on our, our torque, we can get to it with 90 degrees. You can simply put this thing inside that um, power valve uh, access door there and Put it on that and put it at 20 foot pound whatever it's supposed to be for that and you'll be able to crank this and you'll get the same amount and you won't have to, you won't mess anything up if you're, uh, if you're somebody who really uh, goes torque crazy and make sure they torque everything if you're going to do it like this and you got to get in somewhere just you know use the formula on the board and correct it at the uh, torque setting it's done hopefully this helps you out guys get those torque specs right don't strip anything please hit the like button subscribe hit the bell for notifications and share this video guys until next time this is Tepco Cyber Repair.